fucking go. <laughs> yeah. What's good, y'all? Your boy, Mr. Nice and comfortable God. We back up in this bitch now. Look, Lord, Lord, Lord. I am excited. I'm always excited. There's never a time where I come up on the camera and I'm never excited. Two months ago, we did the Isaiah Rashad album. That was the first video that I had done on Isaiah Rashad in five years. Shockingly enough, this is the first time <laughs> I am doing a Young Thug album in five years. Now, I don't wanna talk about that video. Every time I look back on these old cringe bag videos that I used to do years ago, I just can't like I'm surprised I have not deleted them but it is just a sign and showmanship of growth I just don't know what in God's name I listen to Fuck, I'm on Twitter and shit and niggas are actually saying this shit is fucking fire that was not fuck the beats were fire but the lyrics were god ass awful Dude, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck my problem was back then. I don't know why I had such a big problem with Jeffrey, but just know I'm not getting up right now, but just know I have Jeffrey on vinyl. I have beautiful thugger girls on vinyl. Matter of fact, I'm getting up and getting it anyway. I'm not a stan, but I am a young thug fan. Oh, Jeffrey on vinyl. This is sadly the bootleg. I'm not YRN, I'm not a young rich nigga, do I wish? But if anyone wants to go buy Jeffrey for me for $300, I mean, I'd appreciate it. Another, another, oh man, like, dude, beautiful thugger girls, bro. Beautiful thugger country. I'm not, I was finna say country classic. This cover is so fun. This cover is so fucking fun. I don't know, punk cover is so fire. But the fact that this nigga had over like 800, now this is on another level of creativity. This nigga took 800 pictures of himself and made it into another picture of himself. Album cover of this shit looks holy fuck. I am going to say that Young Thug is heavily underrated, man. I'm gonna put a little blame on his record label for that i don't know if he's not doing promo just to not do it or if it's because of his record label's fault but man throughout the course of young thug's career he has had a lot of low selling albums and a lot of low selling mixtapes and i don't know if that's because of the record label and i don't know if that's because he just doesn't want to promote he just doesn't want to promote them. I think this sold 101k. Everything else shockingly sold either 40 or 30k or below, which is really shocking for the status that Young Thug is at. I have not looked at any opinions. I don't know what the hell this album sounds like. Track one, Die Slow. <laughs> at first, I thought this album was going to be 16 tracks. car and just pulled off doing at like 60 miles per hour ran my mom over she had a stroke and shit but she'll be all right i always knew i wasn't gonna be gay where the hell did that come from i love when you know artists like they aren't all about rap i love that young thug 
has dove into the line of fashion, man. And every time I think of Young Thug and fashion, I just remember I just remember that clip of Young Thug on the catwalk and he had fixed someone's collar or something. And, and it's just crazy how people assume people's sexuality just because of how they dress. Like, I remember when, like, I'm pretty sure we all remember when Jeffrey first came out and everyone was looking at him weird. And it's like, bro, there is literally nothing wrong with, I don't, it's like I said, I don't need, I don't know why people care about what others wear so much like it has an effect on them. It's like, bro, wear whatever the fuck you want, man. And it doesn't matter what anyone else fucking says. As long as you're wearing whatever you want to motherfucking wear, that is all that matters. Thug has always had a style like this and it's, just like he said in his fucking lyrics, like, you know, the nigga knew he wasn't gay. He just has his own style that he fucking likes. And that doesn't mean he gay. And that doesn't mean he has anything else going on with his sexuality. He, the fucking instrumental really matches with the lyrics and how he is just talking about his life and how he went through some struggles in life. Track two, stressed. I feel like this isn't gonna be like so much fun. This nigga was going off until he did that voice. Yo, what the hell? I thought that was Thug that was singing at first, but then that was Cole? Pause. Metro! Oh, bro. Oh, this finna had me thinking. Who we fucking? This is insane. This is insane. This is insane. I knew that listening to the lyrics on this track, it wasn't actually from Thug's perspective, but from another person's perspective. <laughs> oh, you put it to sleep? Oh my God, dick, dick game so good. He put it to sleep, y'all. I can, I can feel the emotion. I'm tired of asking. Tears rolling down their face, snot coming out they nose. Dude, dude, oh, bro, bro, I don't, dude, I love the vibe of this song, bro. I mean, not the song, the album, Jesus Christ, I can't think straight. Ghana, what you finna do? Oh, he was cooking that bacon soda up in that Pyrex. I never in my life thought I'd hear Gunna and Young Thug singing their heart out on a track with a guitar playing in the back. I I am enjoying this. Like everything just sounds so mellow. Everything doesn't sound loud. Watch this next song be loud. What the fuck? I just wish that things were reciprocated. We can R and B young thug. The fact that that's thug on the chorus shocks me so much. Cause that sounds like future a little bit, and it's not future. 
tried to keep my mouth closed. I told mom the story. I had five bitches with me in that late like Robert Horry. Oh my God! Shout out to Michael Jordan. Shout out to James Harden. Shout out to Robert Horry. Bro, I love, dude, 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 dude. I mean, it's like I said, I have not seen any opinions, but when I have been briefly on Twitter, I've, I've, I've rarely been seeing people talk about this album, and I don't know why. Early five tracks, I love the vibes that I am getting from this album, man. I just love how slow, mellow, chill. I, I can't process what this sounds vibe is giving me but it isn't the usual trap fun vibe that thug usually gives and i feel like that is where people others might you know run away from this album is you know this isn't usually what thug does i've i've never seen thug use you know a a low sounding guitar that sounds really melancholic for multiple tracks straight i've never seen him do that ever and the fact that he's not really doing trap i feel like that's where niggas are gonna be like really like standoffish and they're not really gonna give it a chance but for me i love when an album sounds like this because I like little quiet, you know, this album gives me a quiet vibe. No, no loud hi-hats, no booming 808. It's, it's just a nice chill album that is coming from a man's heart. And I feel like with the addition with all these guitars, it is really reflecting the emotions that are about to come with this album. Track six Peeping out the window, featuring Future and Balmy. Wait, what? B Slime! That piano is literally doing something for me. We've got these thug niggas in their emotions right now, and I love it. T, T Shine was. It sounded a little sad that he lost his girl, couldn't buy his, I think his dad or mama house. Gunna was in his emotions a little bit. Who the fuck said future ain't popping no more? Who the fuck said that? Produced by Kanye and Pierre. That's that's literally facts. Rest in peace, the Juice World, bro. Rest in peace, the Juice World, bro. It's fuck DJ Khaled, but I'll accept it for right now. Oh my God. Y'all hear the angelic harping in the back? See booty cheeks bouncing to that dum dum dum. Why did he just say that? Why did he just say that? Protect my life, cause I'm gonna come in that shit. What are you talking about? Thug is really making these niggas act different. I want to jiggle my booty cheeks to that chorus for some reason. Bro. I cannot believe that that ASAP Rocky feature. Weezy out of here. I ain't gonna count the sneaker kind of spitting. He's kind of spitting. Can me and Young Thug be best friends, bro? I want to be best friends with Thug, bro. Yo, Young Thug, if you don't need a yes man, I'm right here. I could be your best friend, bro. 
I'll count your, I'll count your money for you if you want to. I'll clean your cars if you want me to. What? I lo every single song I I've loved the vibe to, bro. The fact a song name Insure My Wrist has a beat like this is crazy. In Atlanta? I am fucking with the vibe. I am fucking with the vibe. What in the hell is going on with his mic quality? <laughs> Yo, this is bass boosted. <laughs> the fucking the fly. <laughs> the fucking flute. Someone in the comments just said this was mixed on beats and headphones. <laughs> it's the flute for me. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit! I'm not waiting for her to say she loves me. I can tell she fuck with me, man. Trust me. I got a 10 year old mix to like fuss. I'm in the floor. I took it on track now. I'm riding this Yo, this is going hard. That beat is twerking. Drake, you have to go off. You have to go off without question. There is no way. My nigga. <laughs> My nigga. Shut the fuck up with Squid Game, please. Verse was recently turned in. This nigga just said, came, came with the snakes, no squids. I broke out the game. All I'm going to say is... Please, can we not make Squid Game bars be a norm? This is a 2009 type B. It, it feels like this album was an experiment because he's doing a lot of new things with this album. She like how the fuck you ain't never wrote a song. Say Lizzie, your fine ass ain't never wore a thong. Ain't right for life, and I just rather ride along. But you must find it all. Yeah. I told my nigga I'ma drop the jewels on him. You gotta go through this shit here with your heart. Ooh. Ooh. If you can't beat him, knock it out him. If you gon' kill him, man, not be shot. I told my daughter, keep one in the head, she ain't got a kite. Ooh. I was like, this all my beats in there. Yo, them Takis are hot as shit. I don't care what anyone say. Them Takis hot as a motherfucker, bro. My asshole was burning when I got done eating them. This nigga really referenced 6 9 This shit crazy. I already know this is gonna be on replay. I already know it's gonna be on replay. 
Like, damn, like, I, and then they, he just brings my energy back down. He like, calm down, young fella. In the cold is out. I had 20,000 plants ceiling drought. 12 in the corner, man, the dog getting out. It's rose gold. White diamonds on my wrist, just like my main bitch toes. I caught the cop off of the bands I want to I throw it to my dog and told the bitch. Fuck over, I'll say kiss this shit. Can I skip this? index finger was so close to skipping that song but i got through for y'all what is good with the genius comment sections because i swear to god every single song lyric that i read on genius i never see like one comment saying like oh you know, th this song can use some work. You know, it's not the greatest. All I see is this shit fire, this shit fire, this shit fire. I know a nigga in this comment section did not just say Doja literally never disappoints. My nigga, she literally just spit a bar and said, he said I'm wifey type. He threw dick like a bouquet. He called me Doja Rat. I chew through all his cheese. Dude, how the fuck is that fire and not missing? And I love Doja Cat. Doja Cat is a talented artist. 100,000%. But that... I do not know what that was. Track 18, Love You More. I cannot believe the audacity of niggas saying that she don't miss. Get out of here with that. Oh my God. Ooh. This is about to be deep. This is about to be deep. What the? I fuck with it. Produced by Metro Boomin? Is that gonna? Yo, I ain't never seen gonna act like this ever before. Oh, I guess. I fuck with that. I ain't never ever seen you act like this before, Gunna. Featuring Mac Miller. Young Thug Punk. Man, I really, really, really enjoyed this album, bro. 
when I heard that, I mean, dude, I'm gonna be honest. I knew Young Thug was coming out with this album, but I had no clue that he was coming out with it this soon. I'm pretty sure it was sometime last week where I found out like, whoa, Thug's coming out with an album this week? And I really feel like Young Thug's label really let him down with the promo of this album because I just heard about it this week. I'm pretty sure a lot of people just found out that it was about to release this week. And, you know, I felt like, you know, Thug is that kind of artist that deserves the treatment of having a lot of album sales, man. I wish that the man had a better rollout. I wish the man had billboards for the album. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Um, Ever since So Much Fun, I've been wondering what kind of direction this man was going to go into. And I'm going to be honest, I'm extremely pleased with this album. I, I really, really, really enjoyed the vibe that this album really laid out on the table i know that young thug usually does you know the trap stuff and even a few songs in this album such as scoliosis um bubbly um dropping jewels even the song with doja cat had a little trap vibes in it you know a few of the songs did have those vibes to it but mostly i really love how young thug plays with the guitar and i love how he plays with the piano as well because it just feels like with his voice go him and that's just so well when he does use a guitar and a piano and i really love when he does that i feel like that is the main point of where i really love the album so much because i really like albums where they just have really low-key acoustic guitars and they're just flowing with the acoustic and i feel like young thug did that perfectly it's like i said in the beginning i feel like a lot of people aren't going to be really open to this album because of the style that he presented and there only being like a few trap songs on the album i personally feel like he should have had less features because I, i'm be honest i want i want more a thug but i feel a like majority of the features did they thing um the doja cat joint i don't know what was going on there that was probably my least favorite song most favorite is probably dropping jewels right when this camera turns off that song is going on bro and with the album cover i i don't know like I am a stan of this. Punk is extremely, extremely dope. And I really love when artists go back into the 40s and 50s and they use their cover inspired off of someone else's art. And I feel like this cover is really dope. And I feel like it's really dope that they're paying homage to the... I, I can't remember what the artist's name was, but it was such a dope picture. I do not... This one go crazy, bro. This one go crazy. I'm sorry. Shout out to the punk cover. But the fact that this nigga grabbed 800 pictures of him and made it into his own face, that's just on another level. Shout out to Thug. I really enjoyed this album, bro. Wow. I really enjoyed it. I cannot wait till the vinyl comes out. I really love what they are doing with this album sale i really hate when artists well labels wh whoever sells it comes out with the vinyl and it literally is gonna release in 2022 they are they let us know that hey you know we're not gonna put this up for sale yet but just know that this is coming in 2022 so be ready to order it in 2022 and i really like that they did that instead of having us wait damn near a year for it so i cannot wait to get the vinyl because i am 100 getting it i hope it is not extremely limited because i'm going to be there so this be a boy mr 2k god and i'm out this bit